Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of equations and inequalities. This is standard 7.11a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 36 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a pretty simple inequality here. We need to find the solution set for it. Let's open up our graph draw feature. While it might look simple, it's actually kind of tricky. So we need to isolate this variable. So let's do that one step at a time. I'm going to write this out a little bit bigger. 3 is less than or equal to 8 minus 1 fourth x. All right. So when we're looking at how to isolate the variable, we look at our order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We look at it in those four stages, and we go from the bottom up. Because the bottom one, the addition subtraction, those are the, uh, the weakest operations that we can remove first. And even though it's minus 1 fourth x, this is actually strongest right here. We're going to deal with that last because that is a multiplication. It's 1 fourth times x. So this is actually what we're going to start with right here, this 8. Okay, so it's a positive 8. So if it's a positive 8, that's like adding 8. So what's the inverse operation? Subtract. So we actually need to subtract 8 from both sides. Okay, so if we subtract 8 from over here, we're good. We're going to eliminate that. So 8 minus 8 is 0, right? So we can just get rid of that. So it's going to end up being negative 1 fourth x. 3 minus 8, well, that's going to get you into a negative, negative 5. So now we've got this negative 1 fourth times x. So this is multiplication. So how do we get rid of it? We divide. Okay. So we need to divide both sides by negative 1 fourth. Now that's kind of wonky. Look at that. I'm dividing a fraction by a fraction. Okay. So we could do that, but let's look at something that might be a little bit easier. Because dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its inverse, right? That's the multiplicative inverse. So instead of doing that, which we could if we wanted to, let me rewrite this and show you it's the same thing, but I think this way is going to be a little bit easier. All right. I'm just going to multiply both sides. Now it's a negative one-fourth. Right, so if you take your 1 fourth, you flip it upside down, right? And then you're going to get your 4 over 1, which is really just 4. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. But then that would just leave me with negative x. So I really want to get rid of that negative. So I want to multiply both sides by negative 4, right? So I'm going to do negative 1 fourth times negative 4, which is the same as negative 4 over 1, because any whole number can be a fraction if you put it over 1. The two negatives cancel out, so that's just going to equal 1, so we're good. But here's the thing. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative, you actually have to flip the inequality. So now instead of a less than or equal to, it's a greater than or equal to. So I've got to do negative 4 times negative 5. The two negatives cancel out, so that's going to make a positive 20. So I've got all of this to say 20 is greater than or equal to x. But now, look, I've got to flip it back. All my x's are on the left. So if you want to flip it upside down, right, you've got to do this. But now you still want the opening going to the 20. So now it's going to be, look at this. Look at all these flips we have to do. x is less than or equal to 20 because you still want the opening to go to 20. Uh, so you know what? Let's just, let's just pick something. Uh, let's just pick 100. That's greater than 20, right? Actually, we want x to be less than or equal to 20, then let's make it 0. 0 is great, right? So let's just plug this in. 3 is less than or equal to 8 minus 1 fourth, and that's going to be 0. 0 is good because look at that. cancels that out. Is 3 less than or equal to 8? Yeah, so that works. So you proved it. If you want, you can grab something over 20 like 100 and try that out, it will not work. So our answer here is A.